we're carrying on from the last video. We're just finding the number that we missed. Okay, so I have a 54, an 80, a 12, a 61, a 73, a 69, a 92, an 81, an 80, a 61, a 75. Oh, there it is, the 75. So. Start inking. There we go. 75. This is the one I'm missing. Okay. Sorry. So now let's go eight and a half in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight and a half would be the 69. And then coming in from this side, the 73 would be the eight and a half. So 69 is our middle number. So median. Let's go is 69. Now the mode, when we're doing the mode, we have to look at the number that shows up the most often. Okay. So mode 12, 15, 40, going through it. 61 shows up twice and 80 shows up twice. So there's actually two modes. And what we would do is we would just go 61 61, 80. There we go. So let's actually take a look at the median. The median for class B is 69. The median for class A was 71. So again, higher for class A. Now the mode for class A was 71 and the mode, so that's the most popular. And the mode for class B is 61 and 80. Now, B asks us to compare. So we did just compare. We compared uh, which ones were smaller, which ones were larger. And um, what is the effect of any outliers on the mean and median? Median. Okay. So outliers. If we take a look at this set of data, the 12, 15, and 44, huge outliers, like massively out. Um, it's pretty consistent between like 50 and 92. That's fine. But 12, 15, even the 44, 50, very uh, huge outliers. And what that's doing is it's weighing down the mean. So if you can see the mean here is only 63, whereas the other, uh, the other set of data, the mean is 71 and almost a half. And there aren't really many outliers here. Like the 45 is quite like a low mark, but it's pretty consistent, like a couple in the 50s couple values in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. So what it's doing is it's weighing down the average.